Okay, in this video we're checking out the Beta FPV Beta 85X. This is a prototype. Um, yeah, this is largely based on the way that the 75X was built, but obviously bigger. So we're, we're rocking some 2 inch props. These are the Dow Cyclone 2035 2 inch props. Much bigger motors now. Um, what are these? 1105s? Yeah, 1105, 6000 kV. Does come with a 450 um, 3S LiPo. And uh, this is what it looks like here, XD30 connector. Uh, it's an okay LiPo. I've, obviously, I think a GNB battery would be better, but this is the one that it comes with. It's a 35 to 70 C. It's still pretty damn fast on that battery anyway. Um, yeah, it's got this stack on here. I think it's very similar to the one that's on the 75X, but this one will go, I think, 2 to 4S. So obviously it flies on fluid on 3S here. So it's, it's also possible that 4S will work. That's, that's what I've heard. Um, this canopy is not final. Uh, I think a lot of these things are not final yet, so just keep that in mind. This is a prototype, sort of a sneak peek. Now they're rocking a EOS 2 camera here from Cadex. It's the 4.3 version. I think it's a PAL version as well. Um, I don't know if this is going to be one of the final versions, or possibly they're going to be replacing this completely with a Cadex Turtle for HD recording. That was, an un that was unclear to me as to when I was speaking with the guys at uh, BNFPB. It's possible that they're going to have two versions of this, one with the EOS 2 and another version as an HD version with the Cadex Turtle. Um, so they're still working that out and I'm supposedly going to be getting the, the HD version at some point later, but they're still in, that's, that's still in development. So what you, might, what you might be seeing here is obviously very preliminary and may not be the final version. And the other thing is that um, the tune on here also is probably definitely not going to be the final version because they still need to work on the washout issues on this. You'll see that in the flight demo. Whenever I come out of like steep dives or doing power loops, I get the you know the yaw washout and the big drops in altitude, just like on the 75X. And I think it just has to do with these ducts and the way that the flight controller is reacting to the way the airflow is working with these you know larger nylon ducts here and the airflow. That, I'm not sure if that's even possible to tune that out because I get that on almost every whoop that I fly um, with the exception of maybe the Mobula 7, which is very light. So, you know, I, the tune I think is going to change. I think uh, this canopy is going to be different. I don't have no idea what the HD version is going to look like. Uh, I haven't even seen renders of that or f photos of that yet, so that might be very different as well. Um, but in terms of like the parts, you know, it's very much like, that's why it's the X-Series, it's very much like the 75X, it's got the separate 4 one EC board, a flight controller board, and it's got the uh, video transmitter, I believe it's the same one that goes with 200 milliwatts, so, you know, it's, 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 got a, it's a little bit heavier in terms of all the parts, obviously, obviously bigger motors as well, so, um, yeah, this one came with an XM Plus receiver, you see, and it's got the two antennas sticking out of the back, uh, it does block the USB port here in the way that they've Put this together right now. I've, I've told them to change that so that it's not blocked because this is. It's I had to take it apart to make some settings changes, and then they need to change the battery shop to one that has a buckle. This one is just, as you can see, just uh, this Velcro, and this will will break in a crash. Um, so yeah, this is good, just basically a pre preliminary video, sneak preview, give you an idea of what's going to fly like. I think their goal for this model is not necessarily for acro or for speed, but more for cinematic um, footage. Like they're kind of jumping on the, the Cinewhip bandwagon. So I'm hoping that they're gonna come up with a mount where the camera is more forward so that you don't see the ducks in the camera view, the HD, HD video. Uh, I'm gonna be giving that feedback to them because if it's back here like this, you're gonna see the ducks. I'm not sure if uh, that's necessarily something that people will want. Um, but yeah, if they, if they could deal with the vibration issues and get some smooth, cinematic video, HD video, then I think that that might be a pretty good use for this. It's, you know, for two inch, it's fairly, it's, well, I think it's going to be fairly light, lightweight for uh, something that's going to be carrying around a Cadex Turtle. So we'll have to see what kind of uh, mounting solutions they come up with. I think that's still in development, but hopefully the camera will be up here somewhere and no props in the view of the video. Anyway, um, they're going to, I think I'll ramble on enough of this. You guys can watch the each, or sorry, watch the uh, flight demo that, that I, or some of the footage I took of this flying around. And you see how it flies. It's got plenty of power. Um, I don't think, though, that ultimately it's going to be an acro, like trainer type of thing because of the yaw washout issues. I'm not really sure if that's going to be something that they're going to be able to get rid of. So that's just my opinion of that. 
you guys can uh, leave your comments below to think whether or not there's anything they could do. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.